Hello, welcome to this again. So like macOS, right? It's a fairly popular operating system, you know, very popular with like creative people who, you know, do stuff in like Photoshop and video editing and that stuff. But like compared to like Windows and Linux, it can't run much. <laughs> I mean, of course, all the, you know, very popular programs that pretty much everyone uses, of course, they have a Mac version, but like some of the more obscure stuff almost never gets ported over here. So, but what if I wanted a Mac that was only meant to run one thing? and that being Chrome. <laughs> Lucky for me, Google made a thing called Chrome OS like 12 years ago, and have been shoving it onto dedicated laptops ever since. And yeah, Chrome OS was pretty much just made to run one thing, and that was Google Chrome. Nowadays, it can run most Linux things and also Android stuff, so it's a bit more useful now than it was then, but... And originally, you could pretty much only install Chrome OS on Chromebooks. But a few years ago, Google released a thing called Chrome OS Flex, which is pretty much just Chrome OS, but you can install it on most x86-based computers, so... This is a 2009 iMac. I'm gonna try installing it on this and the first step is to install Google Chrome <laughs> You see I'm a proud Firefox user, so I don't do this very often. Yep download it cool. It's downloading Is it installed oh Google Chrome Google Chrome is an application downloaded from the internet Are you sure you want to open it? Jeez Louise Mac OS, you're worse than Windows Vista when it comes to pop-ups about do I want to open the things that I downloaded. Uh, I'm good. Just, just let me, you know. Upgrade your PC and Macs to Chrome OS Flex. I don't think it's an upgrade, but okay. Alright, so first we need to make a USB installer, which is pretty standard. And this is why we had to get Chrome, it's because it, it does it through a Chrome extension. Kind of strange, but it works, I guess. Create recovery media for your Chromebook. Chrome OS Flex. Alright, there we go. I would like to use the USB stick that I already have plugged in. Do it. All right, now it's gotta download it. All right, now it's unpacking the recovery image. Of course, off open needs to make changes and needs my password. And now it's writing it to the USB stick. Cool. Unknown error. Oh man, I gotta try it again. God damn it. Took like 20 minutes for it to do that. Now I gotta try it again. And it has to re-download it? Oh, great. Well, my camera shut off. I don't know when. <laughs> All right, so the verification thing uh, broke again, and I'm also now realizing people fucking hate this thing. But when I plugged it into my Windows PC, everything showed up. So I'm sure it's fine. So I'm just gonna reboot and try to boot off of it. Okay, yep, there's all the... <laughs> Yeah, these are all the partitions left over from the dual booting every version of macOS video. I'ma boot off the USB stick. Damn. What if I try it from open core? Well, now it's just not doing anything. I mean, it's still on, I'm pretty sure, because the mouse is still lighting up, but... Alright, so it's either the USB that's the problem, or it's Chrome OS that's the problem. I'm gonna suspect the USB stick, and I'm gonna try re-imaging it, but through Windows. It's probably not gonna make a difference, but I'll, I'll try it anyway. <laughs> So I downloaded the disk image from Google and used Rufus instead. Let's see if it works. EFI boot. Work, please. <laughs> Thanks. All right, uh, next idea. It might be my USB stick. Okay, cool. Trying it from open core did not work. All right, then. Um, I'm gonna try a different USB stick. I have a couple of them, so. All right, there's now a new USB stick in there. Different brand, different size. See if it does anything. Okay, cool. This one isn't even showing up. Um, does it show up in open core? No. Where is it? <laughs> okay, there it is. All I did was switch it to a different USB port. Oh, oh. Um. Well, I mean, I guess it's further than last time. So clearly something's going on with, like, the graphics driver or something. Oh. Oh, it's not just the boot screen. It's gonna stay like this, isn't it? Oh, no. Can you believe this thing isn't on the certified devices list? Do you want to activate Chromebox, the built-in screen up. reader for Chrome Shut OS? up, shut up, No, I if don't. So, Where's the mouse? The space bar. Shut up. Okay, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Uh, continue, I think that says? It looks like I haven't plugged in, like, a VGA cable all the way. I want to install it. I think that's what that says. Install Chrome OS Flex. Do it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna lose my ultimate Mac OS setup, uh, but it's for the content. Well, it says installing Chrome OS Flex, I assume. 
Hopefully I can change some resolution options when I actually get into the thing. Because I don't have any external monitors that can plug into this thing. I have no idea what that says. I, I can't, I can't tell at all. There's no next button. I can't tell if it's like doing anything or something. I don't know. I know my way sort of around this operating system. The brightness works at least. Oh. Maybe it said restart computer. Oh no. I don't think that line was there before. This thing better not have absolutely demolished my Mac screen. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely done something to the hard drive. What if I boot off the hard drive? There's no way this thing, like, actually damaged my Mac, right? Oh god, it's still doing the thing. Do you want to activate No, Chrome no, I don't. Alright, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Uh, get started, I'm assuming that says. Oh, I gotta find my Wi-Fi on here. Uh, who's using this Chromebook, I think that says? N me? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, sure that one. Uh, personalize your display. I think this is light theme, dark theme. Yeah, this is light theme and dark theme. Um, it turns purple when it's dark theme. I'll stick it to dark theme just because it makes it slightly easier to see. Oh, no. Well, it's installed. Um, I just need to figure out how to fix it. Okay, so I need to find a way of getting to settings. So if I go here, that one's settings, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're in settings. Display. I hope. Oh, this is just scale. Okay, I can see it slightly better now. Just because everything is really big. No results found when I look up resolution. There's only display size. There's no resolution in here. Okay, hold on. I have a genius idea that might make it so that I can actually see. If I open Chrome, I go to cast. Okay, this thing's able to see my casting devices. Hold on, I need to find a Chromecast real quick. It seems the Mac has gone into sleep mode. How dare it. The setup's gonna get pretty scuffed for a bit. Alright, this is the only monitor I have available with HDMI. Alright, I've got the Chromecast here. Problem is, this USB cable is so short, I'm gonna have to use the Mac itself for power. Alright, Chromecast is here. I want to go to cast that one. Yo! <laughs> Hold on, I need to cast entire screen. Yes! I've done it. The worst setup ever. There is about a second of delay when you move the mouse. Alright, this is my official solution for fixing the display issues when installing Chrome OS on a Mac from 2009. And I'm sure there's going to be some Chrome OS genius who's going to immediately tell me how to properly change the resolution in the comments, but this works fine enough. Let's see if this thing can actually use Chrome or not, except this mouse delay is going to be really, really annoying. Alright, first stop, YouTube. It froze. It's not frozen on the Mac end. I can tell by looking around, but the uh, Chromecast just kind of died. Oh, the Mac is flickering. We're green now. Uh, oh no, oh no. Um, the Mac is not happy. The Mac is not happy at all. This is what happens when I move the mouse. Um, I might want to reboot this. I can't tell if it's just my Mac that's really bad at doing things, or if it's Chrome OS just like being really bad at doing things. You. Tube. Cool. Okay, here's the channel. Oh yeah, you see that button, you should click it. <laughs> sure, most recent one that was uploaded, which is just a combination of two other videos that did really well, and then this video did not do very well. Skip the ads. All right, we're playing the video. I don't think it's gonna play any sound though. It's transferring the sound to the Chromecast, which is plugged into a monitor that has no sound, so. Can it do 1080p? I mean, it looks fine uh, for the most part. I can't tell if it's the Chromecast lagging or if it's this thing lagging. All right, yeah, it's definitely struggling now. Again, can't tell if it's the Chromecast or if it's the computer, but uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> How about we kill it? Will it even be able to play one frame before dying? Oh, there's one frame. How long will it take? Oh, we got two frames. We, we got, we got like 15 frames every second. 
and then it's gone. All right, further than I expected it to get. Can we play a video game? Oh, there it is. Yes, yes. This game's gonna be impossible to play with the input delay I'm feeling right now, but uh, we'll see. I'm just gonna... Somehow I think this is running smooth. Oh, okay. All right, what about a game that somebody in school would actually want to play? And we're doing it the genuine way. All right, again, this is going to be impossible to play because of the input lag, but can it run it? So far, absolutely. <laughs> oh, input delay, input delay killed me, so... Uh... Oh, great, I've done this glitch. Ugh. This game is impossible with input lag, because, uh, the input lag is longer than the required reaction time to play this game. So, uh, either just make some incredible predictions, or don't get any further than two. Okay, what other programs are here? There's the camera. Let's see if the camera works. Oh! Hello! You can see my big-ass haircut. Can we record video? Oh, well, that just shows you how long the input delay is. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to get this onto a USB stick to actually show it in the video, but I'll try anyway. Hello. Hello. Okay, please close this before the input delay just gets worse. Alright, I have a USB stick here. Just let me transfer it. Yep, just put it on. Put it... Why not? Oh, it's read-only. That would explain it. No idea why it just copied itself five times. Put it... Put it on. Thank you. Can I change the wallpaper in guest mode? Yes, I can. Windows 11 looking ass. For good measure, I probably should also take a screenshot, just in case I need it for the thumbnail, but how do I do that on this? Oh, there we go, all right. All of it. All right, now I need to get these onto the USB stick. That's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted to do. No, get out of the trash. Go onto my USB stick. It froze. Please don't tell me it did the stupid thing again. Oh, it's frozen again. Oh, no. It's like frozen, frozen. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> okay, I guess, well, that's the end of that. Um, I mean, if the display problems weren't there, I'm sure it would actually be pretty usable and pretty useful. And, like, Chrome OS Flex is actually pretty good if all you need is something light to run Chrome on. Just, unfortunately, I'm having so many problems with it right now that, you know, it's not worth using. <laughs> so, you know, do I recommend it for a computer that can actually properly run it and that you just need to run Chrome? Sure, absolutely great option. Probably. Uh, do I recommend it for a late 2009 Mac? No. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have some to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members Orson, Ember, Tonk, Administrator, Thom, Vietnamese Cat, Tyler, The Gamer, Bob Smith, Zachary, Water Rar, It's Netless, Unfound Renderer, Butter Dog, A Fan, Brain Rotted Rat, Highway 11, Lily, Solar, Telltales, Justify, 4K, LG TV, Chernobyl Dweller, Midnight Wave, Corbin Nickel, Erky, Celestner, Hellion Ho, Whale Tech, F3 Pi, Skyblocker, Henry B, Gamer Gator, Melody, Kim, A User, Normal Roblox Player, It's Just J, Tomas, Mr. Muffin, and I am Maurice, and that'll be seeing you.